Hey everybody, Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you a super easy tip on how to save any node group which you have so that you can easily use it for any scene that you're working with, and you don't have to worry about appending it from a different file which you can no longer find because this node group will already be saved into your startup file and it'll be easily accessible. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a node group to use. I'm using the cinematic node group which I created in a previous tutorial. If you want to watch that, I'll put a link in the description below. But after that, you want to make sure that your node group is named. You want to save this file wherever it's easily accessible. And then you want to open up a new file and switch over to the compositing layout. Make sure use nodes is checked. Then you want to go to file, append. You want to locate that file wherever you saved it. Go down the node tree and open up that node. Then you can press Shift A, go down the group, and you can add this node group here. And by pressing this F button, it's essentially creating a fake user for this node group so that when we delete it and we save this file, it'll always be there so you can always add it again. But even if we save this as a normal file, when we open up a brand new Blender file, it's not going to be there. So what we need to do is save it as a startup file, which is super easy. First, you just want to go back to the default layout here, File, and then Save Startup File. Or you can press Control u as the shortcut. And that's pretty much it. So now if you press File and open up a new Blender file, you can render something out like this. And go to the compositor here, press Shift A and you'll see that your node group is already there ready to use and you can just plug it in and easily start using it and playing around with these settings so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and learned something new if you have any suggestions for future tutorials feel free to leave them in the comments below and as always thanks for watching